Hello, welcome to this tutorial from the Roland DG Academy of the job log feature within Roland VersaWorks. So what is the job log? The job log is a history of all of the jobs brought into Roland VersaWorks. Whether they were simply imported into VersaWorks, ripped or printed, the job log will tell you this information. So what can I do with this information from the job log? It's possible to save the information so that you have a record of all of the work that you have run through Vert Roll and VersaWorks. You can also use it to calculate job costings. We're going to look at how you can do this next. Within VersaWorks, the job log is located under the View tab at the top of the screen. As you can see here, the job log has a history of all of the jobs that I have run through VersaWorks. And here we have a number of headers that show different information for each of the jobs. The event, which shows whether it was simply a new job, which means it was brought into the VersaWorks queue, a rip job, or rip end, which means that it was ripped, and a print end which shows that the job was printed. The nickname shows the machine that was used to print that job, the job name, so the name of the file that was brought in, the size of that file, the print area, the ink consumption and the start and end time for the process. We also have three icons along the top in the left hand corner here. A small eye within a blue circle. If I click on this icon it will give me more information about the job so it gives me a detailed job log. If I select a job that has been ripped or printed it will show me the actual ink consumption. If I select the icon I can see the ink consumption here also with the break as a total but also with the breakdown per ink channel. You can also see the media that was used and how many copies that were printed along with the print area and the page size. I also have the option to save the job by clicking on the save icon. This will save everything within the current job log and you have the option to either save it as a CSV file or an XML file. Once you have saved out the job log you can then delete any of the items within the job log that you wish. Having this information within the job log will give you the option to calculate the cost price for your jobs. So if we know the print area and the ink consumption used within a job, that can effectively give us the cost price to produce that work. So. Here I have two versions of the same job. A picture of some Ecosolmax inks, which under the layout tab I fit to the media size, which is just over 700 millimeters wide. Under the quality I've chosen generic vinyl and a standard quality. Before you rip a job, VersaWorks gives you the estimated ink consumption, which here it states is 0.76 cc's. Once I've ripped a job, it will give me the ink consumption a lot more accurately as it's calculated the amount of ink droplets it will need to use. Again, if I go back into the job log, here I can see these two files, one with the ink consumption and one without. So the print area will say is 716 millimeters by 310 millimeters and 0.72 cc's. If I was paying £1.50 for a generic vinyl, calculating this print area, I can then work out the cost for the, for the material. And with this sizing, the material costs just over 33 pence. And with 440cc cartridges in my printer, 0.72ccs will cost me just 14 pence. And there we have the cost pricing for a job. And that's how to use the job log for your benefit. Thank you.